Hello! Hola! Welcome back to Color in Canvas. Uh, today I am going to be doing kind of a variation on a Dutch pour that I like to call an explosion pour. And as you can see from this mess, I had just done one a minute ago and I wanted to do another one. So here we go. I have a turntable and a 9 by 12 canvas that I'm working with. I an assortment of colors of paint. These are mixed blends of different brands of paint, different colors. A white, a dark blue, medium green, a light blue, a yellow, and some mixed gold. And I'm going to use all of these in the pour. And the colors that we're using for the Dutch pour part of it, which is the part with the hair dryer, is uh, DecoArt 24 karat gold, which is that color, and Amsterdam Oxide Black, which is this color. And both of those are mixed just with uh, about one part paint, two parts Floetrol, and then water to thin. And when I say thin, really, really thin. Uh, you can see both of them, they don't leave any trace. Very, very thin consistency for our blowout paint, which you usually do in a Dutch pour. These are all a medium consistency, because they're the ones that I like to mix that I can use in a lot of different techniques. Normally the base coat would be thinner, but I am using those today, and for this technique, actually thicker is fine. So let's just put some of these paints down here, make a base coat for what we're going to blow out, and then we'll kind of see what we see. And I'm just going to pour them down one by one and spread them out. Get some white on here. Actually, I should be saving that. I should be using my white base coat. And I just mix my base coat up in huge batches and throw them in bottles. So we'll start with this little bit of white base coat. There we go. I'm going to spread that and then I'm going to add these colors to it. This is a little different than I normally do this, but why not? Let's try something different. Let's see what happens when a base of white gets added in to the equation. Because I've only done these a few times and I'm just kind of changing up each time, doing it a little bit differently to see what different result we get with it. So we have our white, awesome. And I'm just going to do kind of a bullseye of color with these. Swirly, whirly, a little extra in the middle. Apologize for the noise. We're downtown in a very, very busy Merida, Mexico right now. Waiting for our house to be built, which won't be for a few more months. So we get the lovely sounds of Centro going by our front door. And I love this part of town. Like, I love Centro. But if you're trying to record videos or do anything that's noise sensitive, this is not the place to be. It is not going to be quiet in Centro, <laughs> pretty much ever. But if you're ever in Merida, you got to check out Historic Centro. One of the most charming places I have ever been in the world. All right, we have that. We're good. Now we're going to get to the interesting part, which is the center. I'm just going to do a little bullseye of color. And I'm going to start with some black. We're going to add our 24 karat gold. And some more black. And that's all we're going to do because we're probably going to do this twice. Usually with this technique, it doesn't come out quite right. The first time you blow it, you need to do it twice. So I'm going to get our little magical hair dryer, 
this one right here that I bought on Amazon. You take the concentrator off and just blow that center paint in a straight line. Here we go. So we're going to leave it just like that. Now we're going to add the concentrator and then blow it out to the edges. So this is all very beautiful and this is all very not beautiful because, like we said, you usually have to do this procedure, <laughs> this method, this part of the whole two times. So let's do it again. Let's, I'm going to add a bit more color to the center and I, yeah, I'm just going to add a little blob of each. Just a little bit of each of these that we had before. And we're going to put more black and more gold and go again. Take two. Here we go. Very promising. Very promising. Here we go. Not bad. You're probably wondering why I just blew out all that gold because I could see, and you guys probably couldn't, that the paint was very thick there. It needed to happen. Wow. That's interesting. I love this green part here. I really, really like that. And I move a bit of that green out. That's awesome. Yay. <laughs> kind of like it, kind of like it. Let's see if there's anything missing. Because sometimes, you know, you get 
parts where the gold has completely disappeared. And you really want to add some. But this isn't bad at all, actually. Let's just wait on it for a minute. I might torch it. I think I will. I don't think there's many air bubbles, if any. But now's the time to get them if there are. So now let's think about it. Wow, that's just really great. It's like a like a sunflower with a blue-green center. That's what I see anyhow. <laughs> Somebody's driving by. I wish I knew what they were selling and promoting, but I don't speak that much Spanish yet. need like a drop of green here. And here. Oops, and some gold. And some black. Maybe not that much. fine and now it's not. bad and it picked up some of that white that was underneath too so that's an interesting little detail yeah it's better now that that spot just wasn't right now let's see yeah I think we're gonna leave it I think it's done now I will touch up these edges and let's see what happens when it dry it could be really really cool I think there may be a bit more happening in the middle as, uh, as the paint dries all right Thanks for watching. Go paint something beautiful. Have some fun. You know, try out some of these techniques that you see on Facebook and YouTube. You know, making art is such a pleasure and I hope that you're experiencing that too. Have a great day. Bye-bye.